Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. Baby is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. Don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It's my opinion and my opinion only. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. So Peach claims, and I'm going to use the word claims really hard. She claims that she bought a uh, sub Rodway tickets. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Rodway, baby. He's out here doing a lot of things. So let's just start right there. Let's just start right there. Now, this man, he got a lot of uh, accusations and allegations going on. He is being sued and being called out by a lot of big name people. Honey, we got Little Booty, all right? We have Jay-Z, uh, Tupac, and the people who own his royalties, and Drake for stealing lyrics. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all know my word, Googleable. This is Googleable, okay? If you go on Google Rob Wave and say I'm being sued, they will play each song by each one of these people and then show what he said in his song, and it is word for word and is verbatim, okay? The album, okay, that everyone loves that Rob Wave put out, half of it is somebody else's you know, song, somebody else's jive. And, you know, Rod Wave is out here to be somebody that he says that he's, you know, promoting good mental health. He's telling his story and everything else. Well, yeah, you're a fraud. Because all these songs that you sing to uplift people are lyrics from other people's songs. So that means you didn't go through it. You ain't been through it and you ain't doing it. So all these things that you are promoting to be, you know, uplifting the community, baby, it's just something you uplifted off of iCloud and re-recorded to your own beat. All right. So buying a ticket from uh, me would be an absolute no-no. The people who look to him for motivation, that would be a no-no. Also, he's going to be broke, okay? But <laughs> I see why she like him. I see why peace like him so much. Because they're about in the same biggity bag and biggity bang. They bag take it from everybody else and try and make as much as you can off of it. The old skimmity, skimmity, skimmity flam, okay? But let's get to the other topic. The fact that someone so-called, you know, sends you a dollar and says, please buy me a Rod Wave ticket, sends you another dollar to tell you when and where it takes place, and then you decide I'm going to send them $300. Baby, I got to call phony baloney. I'm going to let you guys know that there is something in my brain when I look at these receipts that she posted that um, says, uh, edited, woo woo, tat tat, okay? I'm just going to say that. I don't believe it one bit. I just don't, Okay. That's one thing I will say. If you sent the money to her and she sent you a dollar to ask for it, she didn't send you no dollar or two back and say thank you for doing it. She ain't out here on some social media yelling, screaming, and being excited saying, oh my God, look what Peach McIntyre bought me. She bought me a ticket and, and you're not sharing it. But I find that funny because when the girls share their side of the alleged jump between them and your mama, you share them out so you wouldn't be sharing this. Yeah, uh-huh. First off, we know she's not this kind hearted, right? She just allegedly gave someone a thousand dollars for a car. Now she's giving three hundred dollars for a Rod Wave ticket. I mean, I, I really don't believe it. First thing I thought when I seen it, I said, oh boy, was that Willie Dilly that was up there on that TV stand getting her in that good of a mood that she decided that she wants to now be charitable? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just call a flag on the play, time out, everybody get on the bench and take a knee because guess what? You ain't this nice. That's number one. You don't got it like that. That's number two. Number three, you always tell your audience, don't be uh, texting me and don't be asking me for something. If somebody even gets on your platform and says, what are you having for dinner? And they name got a chef in it. You cuss them up and down to the ground. You cuss the woman out that had MS that was getting in there just to say that she wanted some tips on how to start a YouTube to bring in extra income. And you cussed her out. But all of a sudden, you so nice that you're going to advertise that you gave somebody some money. Bebe, you better tell that cousin that accepted that cash after her and send you your $300 back and keep that cut. Or your, you know, made up other phone cash app. Bebe, ain't nobody believing this. And we showing. But y'all, it happened. So we talking about it. But I want to know what y'all thinking. So I'm going to see y'all in the comments below.